Hey guys, Lise here and I just wanted to quickly show you a video about how to just get started with Scrivener. We don't have to learn everything, you only need to know what you need to know to get started. So I'm just starting with a blank document. Uh, this is what I normally use when I'm writing non-fiction. Uh, in Scrivener there are a whole bunch of different templates, so if you were um, using a fiction or sorry, writing a fiction book then you might want to use one of those templates, but I find for non-fiction starting with a blank uh, project is definitely the easiest way to go. So I've just really just set it up and I'm looking here at the cork board which is what you can normally see when you click on this little, if I show you here, this little area here which is normally when you first start it starts off as being called draft. So when you first come in this is what you'll be presented with and then you can just go ahead and add in some folders and some documents. So normally it would just um, start off with just doing a blank document. I like to set mine up so that I've got the chapter title which will then become the actual heading for the page and then the actual text document where you actually put in all the work. So what I like to do is outline all my books in here first so you can come in here and make a whole bunch of um, notes um, about each um, chapter, you know, bullet list, cover this, um, you know, action steps that sort of thing. So I like to come in here and outline that first and then just build out the corkboard. And then once I'm ready to actually start writing, I like to come in here. So you can use the screen in this way, but I like to have um, my inspector on, which is this little thing over here. You turn that on and then it shows you where you can put make some notes, which is what I often do to myself, like if I have to include a link or I want to include an image or something like that, then I'll include that there. What's really helpful when I'm going through is changing labels and statuses. So you can come in here and set up your own labels and your own statuses and it's really easy to do. You just click on label and then edit and you can set up a whole bunch of different colors. So for me, I will go through and say, um, I'll set one up to say, um, to edit, in review, with editor, formatted, and then once it's done, I'll put, you know, created, completed. So you can just go ahead and choose all the colors that you want. So this one would be completed um, in, uh, with editor. You can change the colors too by clicking on the color, double clicking the color. So for me, um, I also do when I'm outlining, I'll say, you know, if I have to do come back and do something. So you can just do that. I just find that using labels in that way makes it um, easier for me to keep track of where a particular document is at. So you can also change the status to be the same. So I generally use the status to be more around drafts. So I'd also say to do if I hadn't done it. But then once I'd done the first draft and I come through and change it to be first draft, revise would be once it's back from the editor. And then final draft is when you would have gone through the editor's changes and then done is when it's done. So that's those little bits. I also like to, because I'm a color person, I like to see the actual label in what is called the binder. So you can just come over here and write, sorry, you can come up to, um, I think it's view, uh, use label color in index cards. Sorry, it's not that. It's icons. So this automatically tells me without me having to look at anything else that I need to do this particular chapter. So those are probably the only things that you need to know to really get started uh, in Scrivener to just start writing. Um, when you're do going through the research process, what I love to be able to do is add in a whole bunch of websites and web pages um, and stuff like that. So you can do that by coming over to your research, which is your court another version of your cork board and the easiest way to pull research in is you know if you want to put um, images or anything like that in your document you can drag them and drop them in here if you want to add files you can do the same if you want to add web pages you need to go to the web page first grab the address so I'll show you what I mean by that so I'll just jump on to here I'll just go I'll go to my website and grab a blog post so you can see. So 
So you would just copy the URL, come back to your Scrivener, come back to your research, and right mouse click and go add, and then you go web page, and it's going to automatically import whatever you've just copied to your um, clipboard, and then just title it something meaningful um, that makes sense to you, and then it will automatically load that page into your Scrivener. The only thing with this is that you need to be connected to the internet to be able to, for these to be able to work. So if you are just wanting to grab the URLs and not necessarily um, have access to the internet while you're doing this, you can just create a document and just insert the links in that way. What's really great about this research part is that you can then come back up to your text and say you need that research to be able to look at it. You can split your screen. So whatever, wherever your cursor is blinking is where you want to add in the next screen. So I would just, for me, I would click on that web page and then I can come through and still scroll down and still be writing up here and do whatever it is that I need to do by reading this research. So if I need to reference something, I need to copy something in and reference that, then I can do that as well. So that's probably the quickest way I can show you to get started with Scrivener. You don't need to know anything else, like formatting or anything like that, you don't need to worry about until it has come back from an editor. So I'll probably cover that at a later stage, but I just wanted to share this with you now so that you can get started with Scrivener. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers!